I take it back, the dollar store is great. It is full of things for one dollar. So the Italian dollar store is no Japanese dollar store, but it is full of a lot of things that you need, such as trash cans and paper towel holders for only a euro, which is great. Turns out Pisa is way different when it's not four in the morning. For one thing, there's all these cars everywhere. For another thing, there's people everywhere. And today it's raining. I love Pisa though. Pisa's great. When I was here the other day, the guy who runs this cafe let me charge my phone. It's a great place. Just follow the tourists straight ahead, she said. She was not kidding. We didn't get a chance to see this the other night because it was too far from the train station. And then my train today was too late, so I didn't get to see it with everybody else. But thank you, Hazel, for walking across town a second time. You're fine. Anything for you, babe. Wait, what was that? Anything for you, babe. <laughs> One thing that no postcard of the Tower of Pisa will show you is that there's a whole beautiful cathedral right behind it that it's just the bell tower for. My favorite thing about the Tower of Pisa is the tourists pretending to hold it up. And look, there's a, there's even one here in the middle of the night in the rain. All right, that's about lined up. Is that good? Your, mo po rotate your, your hands like this. A little more. Hold, push your front hand more forward in. Oh, actually, looks pretty good. Hold on. Just like with the rest of Italy, I'd recommend not coming at 7 o'clock at night because everything closes. Do you see that? Oh my god. That is Isn't that spooky? spooky? It is spooky. This is my favorite unexplained spooky thing in Pisa. Hazel bought some fancy Italian leather shoes that don't have tread on the bottom, like mine don't. And yet, she, but she is not as practiced at walking treadless, so she keeps almost falling How over. How are you doing this? Um, I, I grew up on ice, basically. It's really not hard. Just keep your center of gravity. You can ice skate. I have seen you ice skate. Almost took, took a kick in the face there. <laughs> That's the name of my travel autobiography, Traveling Treadless. That'd be funny. I never get anyone. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it could be maybe it could be about my train travels. Because trains don't have any treads either, but they go real fast. Jake, what?
Oh, wait, I'm gonna take a selfie. Wait, I'll, I'll push it on the wrong side if I can. There we go. So it looks like I'm pushing it over. There, it's a selfie. Look at these giant ass babies. Why did they just move? It's so weird, like a big, it's a big group of things. Oh yeah, a big lump. Also take a selfie with this um, marble legume. Marble legume. <laughs> Alright, good to know. Pisa is definitely something you go look at in the daytime and when it's not raining. Oh, look, I can record my <laughs> Look, I can see you. I like walking around Florence either late at night, early in the morning. All the stores basically are closed and you don't feel like you have to walk in and buy something if you hang out in front of the window for a while. But you can look at all the beautiful clothes because the lights are turned on, right? You can think to yourself, oh, I'm gonna come back, but you never do. Cause I don't have $300 to spend on a shirt. Also at night, but especially really early in the morning. Most of the people are gone. The heck? I hate it when there's a lot of people around. It's my, my countryside coming out. What am I supposed to do here? Use your left hand. To do what? I mean, obviously somebody must be buying all these $400 shirts, otherwise why would there be so many stores selling them? But that's not something I can even imagine spending that much money on. It's not even a camera. I mean, I suppose I spent $400 on the shoes that I've worn for the past two years, but... There must be some secret market for $400 shirts that I'm not aware of. Because every third store seems to be a $400 shirt store. Anyway, I'm home. Obviously I don't live in the Santa Croce, but I do live nearby. If you're in Florence, come say hi. I don't kill myself on these steps. My upload's no closer to being complete than it was this morning, but whatever, whatever. 